What's that silly rule? It's, it's after you know, holidays. It's only if you get bumped by council. Council can't meet on Monday. They take the Tuesday slot. And then <coughs> it's only on the holiday. Not yeah. because yeah. they want the first of the week. No, uh, no, it's just a new the way it sets up. No, it was uh, the 31st. It wasn't the new month yet. No, their first meeting no, would be next Monday, Monday, and they're not having it anyway. No, because the uh, town clerk has to get ready. Ready? <coughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the November 1st meeting of the Weathersfield Planning and Zoning Commission. Would the uh, clerk run through the roll call? Uh, Chairman Harley? Here. Uh, Vice Chairman Margietta? Not here. Clerk Roberts? Mr. Hughes? Not here. Mr. Eichel? Here. Mr. Hammer? Here. Mr. Hamicki? Not here. Mr. Dean? Here. Mr. Allard? Here. Mr. Edwards? Here. Ms. Antoniak? Mr. Silver? Here. All right, so if my math is correct, we have six regular members and two alternates, and everybody will participate. Item 3.1, a public hearing, application number 1928-16-Z, Peter Brzezinski, seeking a, excuse me, speaking a special permit in accordance with section 3.5.2 of the Weathersfield zoning regs for continued use of a home occupation at 239 Griswold Road. Would the applicant join us? So if you could take a few mo moments, introduce yourselves, and then take a few moments to describe uh, your application. Okay. Um, my name's Peter Brzezicki. I live at 239 Griswold Road. This is my son, also Peter. Um, uh, the application is for continued use of a home office for an accounting and tax services uh, practice. Uh, some of you may recall that we appeared before you just about three years ago at this time and you approved an application for a three-year period. Uh, this application is uh, pretty much identical. We've been operating for three years. I believe that we've not had any negative impact on the neighborhood uh, if, if from a, um, in any way. Um, I believe that the planning office also has received about three letters supporting our application from our closest neighbors. Uh, nothing has changed about the business. The only requirement of section 3.5.2 that we do not meet is the need for clients to arrive at our dwelling. When we came before you three years ago, we had no idea how many people that might be. During the tax season for 2015, which is essentially February 1st to April 15th, we had approximately 60 clients visit uh, our location. Um, never more than five on any one day. Uh, and we're basically asking on our application, we ask that the permit to run with the land, or if that's not acceptable, that may be a longer period of time than three years that our last application was approved. All right. Thank you. Um, I don't see the letters in the file. Peter, would you like to just kind of run through them? Sure. Just for the record, we have uh, several pieces of correspondence. The first is dated uh, October 3rd of this year from Marion S. Uh, Herald, uh, 227 Griswold Road. Uh, the letter is a letter of support. Um, they understand the application. They uh, share a driveway with the Brzezikis and they support uh, the application, encourage the commission to approve the application. There's a letter also uh, dated September 28th of this year from Thomas Forst, 247 Griswold, um, expressing support. Uh, once again, uh, next to the property, uh, very supportive. <clears throat> uh, they talk about the business being there for three years and has no negative uh, impact on, on him or his wife and encourage approval. And then lastly, uh, dated September 28th, a letter from John Church, 264 Griswold, uh, support. Um, looks like they are a new resident in the last year. I purchased my home and there has been no negative impact on me or my family. I'm supportive of anyone trying to build a business and encourage you to approve the application. And that was, as I said, John Church. Uh, so there are, I don't, I think those are the. I didn't see any in the package. Yeah, those, are the, more. those are the three letters uh, that uh, we received uh, once the public hearing notice went out. All right. 
Yes. Um, just confirm with Peter, there have been no complaints to the town about this? Yeah, I have not received any complaints. Uh, and I don't think we received any phone calls either uh, inquiring uh, either uh, for or against um, uh, recently or during the uh, course uh, of the last three years. So uh, I, cannot, uh, I cannot report on any, uh, any complaints. Okay, thank you. Just, just curious also, did we waive the application fee when we approved it three years ago for the return trip? I, I'm not sure if we, we did. Did, did. I don't remember. We paid they the paid fee. the fee. Um, so I don't, I, I, no, you didn't because okay. we, we attached it. We, we did require them to pay the fee. <clears throat> Other questions? Anybody in the audience? Oh, go ahead. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, how long do you want this uh, approval? Um, do you want it forever? To go with the land? If, if, if it could go with the land, yes, we would take it that way. If you folks want to approve something else, I mean, we'll accept, right. obviously, accept whatever you do. Why do you want to go with the land? So um, you can sell the house someday and, you know, that would be a benefit to it? Um, no, just not having to come back to see you folks. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to go you through the process. <laughs> yes. Really? yes, thank you. Yeah. No, that's all. No. No. Yeah, I mean, and I, I think the universe of family accounting businesses looking for houses is probably limited and need to do better selling it to the wider population, actually. Yeah, we're going to need more accountants in the future. Okay, I have no. another one. How, how, how many in, in, uh, people now, just you and your son? That's it. You don't anticipate anybody in the future? No. It's not, it's not how, that's not how we're trying to grow the business. Okay, so in other words, uh, I noticed the last time we did not put any conditions on, like how many people could be in the business in the future? No. Let's say you sold and, you know, maybe that goes with the land, therefore, you know, not with you. And I, I would expect, if anything, they'll reach a point where I'll be too old to do it and Peter will do it by himself. That, that's kind of what our intention is, that we're trying to build a business that he can carry on. Makes good sense, right? Um, and your sign is still okay? I, I see a picture of it here. It hasn't deteriorated. So. Good quality, and the parking seems to have worked. Wasn't there an issue with the next door neighbor or something? Or? No, never was an issue. Never was an and issue. and one of the, one of the letters that. is from the um, the next door neighbor that we share the driveway with. Oh, sharing the driveway. It wasn't yeah. The <coughs> no, we share a driveway, and yeah, that was it. Yeah, that but but I remember if I recall, three years ago you went out and looked. We have room, you know, for our cars and plus a couple of cars. Yeah, even with the five, and even then, theoretically, you can park out front if you have to. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. For that yeah. We've had overflow issue in the year. Ha and most of the people come by during working hours, and our neighbors, you know, at least two of them would be, two or three of them would be off at work. So that that's another aspect. Right. And and really, that parking lot is theirs and yours and. You know, yeah. That, yeah. We've never had any problems. Nicely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Joe, it doesn't, uh, I know you got to do public comment, but uh, do you want to do that before I talk? Because there's probably nobody here to talk. Yeah, go go ahead. Okay, just just to move it along, I guess number one, it seems to me like this is working, working well, and there are no issues. So I think it really comes down to: Are we comfortable running it forever? And I think an alternative might be extend it to five years and waive the application fee, so at least he doesn't have to deal with it anytime soon. And I was going to probably get there myself. <clears throat> just asking how long do you plan to live there it sounds like you're planning on being there a while so if we extend it to a five year or you know that would be fine probably. that's fine yeah. I mean the the other alternative that I was thinking of is to approve it as submitted because you know the way they have described their operation you know he and his son one room no employees no deliveries you know people coming only one at a time I mean, yeah, it could theoretically be an enforcement issue at some point down the road with a, you know, with a different owner. But you know, I'm I'm comfortable that this isn't going to become anything unreasonable. So, so enforcement in your mind is the idea that you know it goes undetected that somebody else is there and operating. 
Yeah, I mean, if they sell the property to somebody that's running a different kind of business, then I think, you know, we have a right to say, you know, come in and show us that it's being operated the same way as this one that we have approved. Right, we do, but there's no mechanism that clicks over for Peter and staff to know that it's up, right? Because today they have a database and it pops over and they know they need to go chase it, right? So I, I don't know how big a risk element that is, but that's what was going through my mind. And the only other thing... Well, I always like living on the edge. So <laughs> I mean, I, the only other thing I would, sing that? I would add, Tom, is whether... I don't remember one that we've done forever. It seems like this type of special permit, whether it's this or even in-laws or other things, we seem to go for a term of years. I think in other ones we've said waive the application fee and I guess one question I have Peter is would this would this be virtually the first time we'd be doing one of these to run forever no I think we've done uh, I think at the was it the la was it the last meeting we gave the um, accessory apartment to run with the land um, so there have been I think <clears throat> it depends on the nature of the yeah, I mean you could argue that the accessory apartment is a little easier to get your hands sure. around than the business and whether it changes and the next guy who comes in you know does and, and, and I guess to your question Tom about enforcement I'm I'm I think I'm in some ways almost more comfortable just say make it five and no uh, you know waive the fee just because I think we're being as liberal as we have for the most part with anybody else in a similar situation that way mm -hmm. okay I'll assume that there's nobody in the public to offer public comment. <laughs> Any other questions for the applicant? Move we close the hearing. Thank you. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. So let's continue the discussion here. And thank you. Uh, let's continue continue well, the discussion. On, to move it along, I'll make a motion to approve application 1928-16Z with a term of seven years. Okay. Second. Second that, or whoever. And waive the application <laughs> fee if we're all still alive. So. Every, all right. We have a motion and a second. If everybody's comfortable with that, all those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Good luck. Good, Good luck. luck. Keep it yeah. going. We'll miss you for seven years, though. <laughs> 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 Feel free to <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, other business? Peter, nothing? Shaking your head? Minutes. Uh, minutes. Did you read? I'm not going to want to vote on minutes. I haven't read. So I'll go ahead if the commission wants to do so. Have others read them and feeling comfortable about them? Did they just come? Yeah, they were just sitting here. Oh. We can table it. Okay, let's do that. Got a motion to table. Can with somebody else? Second. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anything else on the agenda? Uh, it's staff reports, you want to handle that? I'll just give you an update of some things going on in town. Sure, sure. sure. Uh, so uh, it doesn't appear on your, because it's not an application, but at your next, uh, on your next agenda, you will likely have a pre-application. We have a, a developer interested in redeveloping 61 Arrow Road. Um, so um, we just met with them today. They are making an effort to try and pull together some information to have a uh, conversation about their plans for uh, redeveloping that property. Uh, and as you may or may not recall, we are presently in court with, with, that, <clears throat> with that property owner about some ongoing enforcement issues. So we've been very busy with that, with that particular property. So uh, it may not be on your next agenda, but they, we met today and they're gonna try and get us some information early next week about their vision for uh, how they might redevelop that property. <coughs> Yeah, it's a separate uh, separate and unrelated yeah yeah so, so so we have a developer who has an option on the property for the yes owner? yep so so that's uh, one one thing to uh, make you aware of so we'll, we will so otherwise it would just be that one uh, one agenda item I may um, be able to uh, bring you up to speed with uh, the trailer boat regulation so we might use that time as well uh, I was going to try and do that tonight since we had such a light agenda, but uh, didn't didn't quite uh, work out uh, that way. Um, other interest matters of interest you might want to uh, be kept posted on uh, the veterinary clinic on the Silas Dean Highway. You may have noticed the demolition there is complete. Those two buildings 
uh, have been uh, removed from the property. Uh, all the asphalt and underground tanks and such have been uh, removed. We had a groundbreaking there, was it last last week? Uh, they will um, likely be starting construction on that before the weather sets in so that they can work on it over the winter and be uh, uh, operational maybe uh, early spring if the weather uh, allows them. Uh, the Masonic building on Main Street, uh, we issued a building permit for the uh, re renovation of that building, so you should be seeing uh, significant activity uh, going on uh, there uh, as well. They're going to do it according to the last approval? According to the last uh, approval. Mm. Okay. Yep. Good. Um, yep. Wonderful. Yep. Good. Uh, we talked about 61 Arrow Road. Um, Ridge Road, the apartment uh, project, uh, they, I believe, closed, the new, the new owner closed on the property on Friday of last week. Uh, they are uh, now um, getting the mylars and all of that squared away so that that uh, potentially could start at least some site work uh, as the winter uh, approaches. Um, we are wrapping up the site, uh, they're wrapping up the high school project in general. We were just out there this week looking at the uh, status of the various uh, site improvements. Um, they're still ongoing uh, site work. Uh, underway. Uh, for those of you who frequent the high school, I don't know if you've got any observations about the drop-off, pickup, generally what the changes to the site have been. Uh, as I say, we're putting together a list of the work that uh, needs to be uh, finished. Um, so if you have observations based on what we approved uh, and you saw something that you questioned, please please feel free to let me know as I'm putting that together uh, right now. Do you, do you have um, any information? <clears throat> I do not use it anymore, so I don't know, but I do have, you know, I know we changed it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Does it work better than it used to? I think some people feel, you know, that it, that it certainly does. Uh, I'm not up there uh, at those peak times when, you know, they're either dropping, dropping off or picking up. Uh, I've heard things about you know, what goes on there, you know, when there's nighttime activities, football games, that kind of thing. But um, I haven't heard that okay. there are real significant issues unless, you know. So I, I, since you guys are around, I thought it might be worth getting some of your uh, thoughts on that. No, actually, my, my experience has been that it, it works the way we thought it would, which is infinitely better than the way it was originally laid out. And actually, I think one of the things that has been very helpful recently is the left turn light on Walcott Hill North to basically not have the traffic backed up down to Bliss Market every morning. Um, you know, there's still the whole drop off right in front of the school on the Walcott Hill Road. You know, people who aren't doing what they're supposed to be right. doing, but no sign or approval is ever going to fix that problem. I, I think the only thing that I, I'm not sure about is how the parking up by where the tennis courts is is going to work, work because that isn't working yet. So, right. Yep. Um, that might solve some of the problems and create others at the same time. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think it's going about as well as we hoped it would. Okay. Well, that's good. My, my experience is <coughs> on the, the pickup side, if not in the morning, but uh, I've been in the afternoon. To pick up in the afternoon and. It's been pretty smooth. I was amazed. It's working well. Okay. A um, couple of other things. Um, the fun zone, the redevelopment of that property. We met uh, with the developer. Was it last week? Yesterday. Is it yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> we've had a week just. It's three hours ago. We've, we've had a week of uh, just constant meetings with different developers. It's all of a sudden maybe they realize it's about to snow. So they better, you know, start talking to the town. Um, so we met with uh, the fun zone uh, developer uh, yesterday uh, with all of the departments, fire marshal, et cetera. Uh, they are interested in also having a pre-application presentation at your first meeting in December. Uh, given the significance of the project, they asked whether uh, we could do a joint meeting with the wetlands commission as well as design review get everybody in a room at one time and see what the general reaction was to the plan 
Uh, we're going to try and do that. The Wetlands Commission has not been in the uh, habit of um, having pre-applications, so it may or may not uh, be something they're comfortable with doing because they don't. I don't think they even have it in their regulations, but I know the statutes allow them to do that. So uh, I think design review uh, is more than uh, more than happy to participate in that. So um, tentatively, we've uh, marked the first meeting in December to do that. And once again, I think you're going to have a light agenda so we can dedicate you know some significant uh, time to that and, and it may also be valuable for the community since it will be on you know TV to, to do that so we'll keep you uh, posted on that for those of you who may not have, have seen the, the article but the developer is proposing a mixed-use uh, project uh, with a first floor uh, commercial uh, potentially with a restaurant and some other uh, amenities and then four stories above that of market rate apartments. Uh, they're still playing around with the density, but it may be as many as 120 apartments. So um, they are also trying to integrate the design with the corner office building. Um, so uh, once again, they're still playing around with some of the design uh, elements of that, but uh, uh, you, you will shortly uh, and most likely see that uh, in, in your application package for that first meeting in December. And then also we met with a party interested in the uh, Weight Watchers uh, uh, property as well. So those plans are uh, not very far along. They do not have uh, an engineer yet, uh, so they're just talking to us. So we'll keep you posted on that. I'm not sure when that might, that might be behind uh, some of those other projects. Um, so yeah, we've been busy working on a bunch of things. So um, on the fun zone, <clears throat> I think you got to have the inland wetlands. I feel strongly about that because I think that's the primary issue down there as far as the development of it, physical development of it. Yeah, um, it sits in the flood floodable area. It's been flooded in all past major storms here. <clears throat> um, I think are close to it. Um, a lot of issues to do uh, deal with there. The brook, trees there, all that stuff. Um, and I know there are modern ways of handling uh, filling the floodplain, but uh, you know, give and take of materials. But still, I think uh, we they ought to be involved with us on that. One. Yeah, as I say, we're we're encouraging that. So hopefully, we can Almost get insisted. get them there. Well, I, we can't insist on making a commission attend our meeting, but we can certainly strongly encourage them. And if, if they need to talk to the town attorney and get, you know, uh, some support that it's uh, an appropriate, everyone, everyone will just have to be careful. They may have to have a, they may have to post it as a special meeting and a joint, we'll have to figure all that logistics of that out. Yeah, you gotta, you, yeah, you gotta do all that stuff. If they're gonna, if they're gonna get together as a, as a group and it's meet, meets a quorum and uh, they're gonna have to be careful about all that stuff, so. Not if they're just attending our meeting. Yeah. yeah. Are, are both parcels working under a development agreement approach, or does anybody own the property yet on either side? The, the, both of those properties are still under the traditional ownership that they've been under. There is a relationship uh, in ownership between both properties. Oh, sorry. Um, it's not the same owner, per se, but it's a... Uh, a very close relationship so they're figuring out all of that as as we speak uh, but it has has not transferred and won't transfer until the permits are all in place okay. um, somebody asked me a question about the subdivision on back lane they had heard that there were some issues there but they didn't know what they were so that uh, the the reservoir estates subdivision which is the back lane subdivision was uh, they they were planning on developing that in three stages uh, they are working on phase one and have crept into phase two um, so uh, we per your regulations and per the zoning regulations uh, we, we will not issue them building permits until the infrastructure and the uh, at least the binder course is in and they they are trying to do all of that uh, once again before the weather uh, turns they are uh, in front of the wetland commission for two of the lots because uh, be because of the way they've 
you know, redesign the, the lot layout. Um, we have had um, issues with the developer complying with erosion and sediment control measures and uh, some other things. Uh, they were, uh, I wouldn't say held up, but the MDC uh, review um, and permitting took lo much longer than they had anticipated. Now they're up against the weather delays. Uh, we haven't gotten or haven't received uh, complaints from neighbors, which I'm very surprised about because we always do. And mm. in this case, I haven't. No, they decided to ask no, me instead. Yeah, yeah, I haven't they, gotten. They only <laughs> I haven't gotten any phone calls. So if if there are neighbors and there's some things out there that uh, we're not aware of, please. But uh, the engineering staff have been out there, literally on a daily basis, to uh, you know monitor the the work that's going on uh, out there, um, and to try and keep a handle on that. So. Um, uh, was there something other than that that the neighbors? No, I think that was generally it. Okay. It was like doing things places they weren't supposed to be doing them. And that is correct. So it's been, we've had to send uh, official correspondence and emails, and it's been a, uh, it, it's been an involved process for us. So. What else? Other questions? <coughs> That's it. Could be a couple. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Yeah, yeah, really. Seven record.